take this. Keep it safe. It's our only hope. There's only room for one boss and one snake. Ready to go, Snake? Are you okay? Snake? I told you you could trust me.
Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. I've picked up a few new moves. Huh. It doesn't feel right to shoot an unarmed man. But I'll get over it. Eva! What do you say to one last showdown? Yeah, all right. What's your name? Snake. No. Not that name. You're not a snake, and I'm not an ocelot. We're men with names. My name is Adamska. What's yours? John. Very well, John. Plain name, but I won't forget it. Come on! So, John ist doch nicht der richtige Name. Und welche Knarre hat jetzt die Kugel drin? Ich hatte, hab's immer gewusst bis zu dem Punkt, als er sie hinter den Rücken genommen hat. Ich nehme es einfach mal rechts, weil ich Rechtshändler bin. Eigentlich habe ich die rechte genommen und der nimmt die linke. <lacht> Aber egal. Also ich muss halt auch noch zielen. Oh das, oh, das ist gar nicht gut, das ist gar nicht gut. Gar nicht gut, gar nicht gut. Ich hab doch, glaub ich, schon sechsmal. Kann das sein? <lacht> It's a blank. Oh, that was fun. It's 
Until we meet again, John. Maneuver them. Well done, Snake. The MiG's disengaged. Most likely under orders from Khrushchev. Is this his way of helping us? Who knows? Maybe he didn't want things to get messier than they already are. Or maybe he just wanted us to owe him one. The important thing is, you made it out alive. As long as Khrushchev is with us, I don't think they'll be coming after you. It should be smooth sailing all the way to Alaska. I'm sending someone out to Galena Base to meet you. To meet me? The DCI and the President himself are waiting at Langley. Don't keep them waiting. So what are you going to do now? Go back to the KGB? What do you want me to do? Did you ever think about coming back to America? I can't go back. I've left America behind me. But you saved this country. I didn't do it alone. And I still owe you a dinner.
Is that part of your mission too? Or is it an order? Or is it an invitation? Hmm. Or a proposal? I don't take orders from anyone now. Scholars tell us that the first spy in history was the snake in the book of Genesis. In that story, it was Eve who was tempted by the snake in the Garden of Eden. But this time around, it was I who tempted the snake and got away with the forbidden fruit of knowledge. Forgive me, snake. I wasn't sent by Khrushchev. I'm not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. I'm an agent of the People's Republic of China for the General HQ 2nd Department of the People's Liberation Army. It was all a lie. I tricked you. And I'm sorry. Philosophers still exist in China, too. You see, my mission was to find out where Volgan was hiding the philosopher's legacy and steal it. So I infiltrated his base as a KGB spy. The two NSA codebreakers who defected in 1960 were actually both men. The real Adam never showed up at the meeting place saving me the trouble of having to eliminate him. I sneaked in by pretending I was Eva. And you and Sokolov and Volgan, you all believed me. The philosopher's legacy was originally held in common between the US, Soviet Union, and China. We couldn't let the Russians and the Americans take it all for themselves. 
The Chinese government had its eye on the legacy, too. I got the film containing the legacy. And also the nuclear missile launch data from the Shagohad. Five years ago, the Soviet Union stopped supplying us with nuclear weapons technology. Since then, China's Liandan easing hydrogen bomb and space rocket projects have fallen behind. But with this data, our country will be able to develop its own nukes. We'll create a deterrent force to rival those of the US and Soviet Union. Everything has gone according to plan, thanks to your help. I too am one of the philosophers. I'm an agent of the Philosophers, a graduate of one of their charm schools. I was raised in a joint U.S.-Soviet-Chinese facility to become a sleeper agent. This was before the war. Back then, they were collecting children from all over the world. As a result, I'm indistinguishable from a native-born American. So it didn't surprise me when you and Volgan couldn't tell the difference. But she knew right from the beginning she knew because before the war, she was at one of the philosopher's schools, too, as an instructor. The boss was the only one I couldn't fool. She was the only one who knew I was a fake. She told me everything. Why did she open her heart to me like that? At the time, I, I couldn't understand it. But now, I think I do. Snake. She wanted you to know the truth. She chose me to tell you. That's why she saved my life. I've lied to you so many times, but not this time. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy. And to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. In other words, I'm supposed to kill you. Not because we loved each other. And not because you saved my life. But because I made a promise to the boss. And I intend to keep it. I just wanted you to know. And you have to live. Snake, listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No, far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Self-sacrifice, because that was her duty. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. You are a true patriot.
someone like him to handle our top secret sneaking missions for us. A man who combines the qualities of a soldier and an agent. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the U.S. government. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy. And the boss was the star of the show. They planned it so that they could get the legacy that Colonel Vulgan inherited and destroy the Shagohat at the same time. Only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Vulgan's trust. Finding out where the philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going according to plan. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Vulgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss, and that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it, not ever. This, they concluded, would be the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive, and she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given, and she had no choice but to carry it out. Her death duty she had to fulfill. Out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. A lesser woman would have been crushed by such a burden. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. In America, as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor, and in Russia as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. And no one will ever understand her. That was her final mission. And like a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. But I think she wanted you of all people, to know the truth. She wanted to live on in your memory. Not as a soldier, but as a woman. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me Snake, <laughs> history will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. <laughs> Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. She was a true patriot.
Yes, Grozny Grad and the Granin Research Facility have both been wiped out without a trace. I understand, sir, but they were necessary sacrifices. Yes, the CIA has taken care of the boss themselves. I believe the White House will be satisfied. Khrushchev is finished. Your time has finally arrived. Yes, the American president is relying on us to keep a lid on the whole affair. We've got him by the balls. It should make a valuable trump card in future negotiations. Yes, Chief Director, of course. I'll keep the KGB informed. Yes, it's me. The boss has accomplished her mission. The Philosopher's legacy is now safely with us, in America's hands. With this money, yes, the Philosophers can finally be revived. The film we handed the Chinese was a fake. <laughs> Peking must be in an uproar right about now. I'm afraid so. Only half the money has made it back to the United States. The KGB must still have part of the legacy. Yes, the weapon has been reduced to ashes. That's right. Grozny Grad has been obliterated by the Davy Crockett we brought in as well. Yes, that was the boss's work too. Speaking of which, I've obtained something from Granin that you might find interesting. It's a revolutionary new nuclear attack system. Perhaps it might just come in handy someday. Yes, we have John, I mean Snake, to thank for that. Khrushchev believed it as well. Yes, they bought our story. I don't think they'll be making a fuss. The secondary alert has been lifted as well. And the Soviets still haven't discovered my true identity. They have no idea that I've been triple crossing them. I will continue my activities as a contact for the new government. Yes, it appears that no one knew that I was Adam. Of course. I'm always at the CIA's disposal, Mr. Director. <laughs> <laughs>